Now let's create a new resource account for our Teams rooms. So we'll go to admin.microsoft.com and sign in with an admin account. And throw on a password. And stay signed in. Not that that matters much uh, in this scenario, but one less sign in. So by default, we don't get to see the resources tab. We, none of these are resource. We'll have to click show all. And then the resources uh, option pops up. From here, we pick rooms and equipment. And we will then add a resource mailbox. We already have a few created here. And we're gonna create a new one. So the name we're gonna give it is Conf Room Washington. Email is automatically populated, so we'll keep it that way. Capacity, this stuff is technically optional. It does show up in Outlook when you're looking for a room, but that's it. Uh, location will leave blank, phone number will leave blank, and then we'll assign one of our meeting room licenses to this device and click Add. So now we wait for a few minutes and I'll come back when the room has been created. Okay, the room has been successfully created, so let's look at a few things. Let's look at the scheduling options. These are the default values that get assigned to a room. So we can see we allow rep uh, repeating meetings or recurring appointments. We can schedule the room any time of day, so there is an option you can set when you sign in as the resource account into Outlook Web. You can then set hours, uh, work hours, so this option says, don't limit it to the work hours that are defined for this room. Automatically decline meetings outside of the limits below. So we don't want to accept meetings that are going to last longer than six months or that are scheduled six months in advance, which is 180 days. And the maximum length that a meeting can be is 24 hours. Critically though, the auto accept meeting request is set to on. You'll want that always to be on. You don't want to change that. From here now, it'll refresh our list and we can see that our new room has been added. Now, the one thing that we do need to do is set a password for this so that we can sign in to the account. Uh, right now, it basically has no password or it has a password, we don't know what it is. So we'll go to Users, Active Users and find our conference room Washington. So here it is. And so I can quickly just click the key for password reset, and let me create the password to something I, I know. And I'm gonna uncheck this box. There's no way to go a, a, to force a password change interactively within the Teams Rooms app. So we can't uh, force password changes and then ask the person to reset it once they've signed in. So we'll now reset the password and close. So now we have created a resource accounts, and assign the password and assign the license.